Just woke up back in Adelaide, South Australia, standing under a white shatoot mulberry tree. These are native to I think Kazakhstan or Pakistan, and uh, one of my favourite fruits. Check it out. They're like a, a white mulberry now. So sweet. Mm. Yeah. We spend a lot of time under these trees feasting. <laughs> Got a new bicycle. It's made out of bamboo. Every bicycle rider. Every raw rider should have a raw bicycle. Check it out. So frames made from three roll bamboo. It's made by Craig Carfee. Carfeydesigns.com. He's based in near Santa Cruz, California. It's joined with hemp fiber and epoxy. And uh, this is my standard race setup. I just I just take off the bag here. The bag's for commuting and, and touring. If I just take that off, I can use that's my race bike straight up. That's the website, man, foodandsport.com. Here's a little tip for the viewers, man. That's a ripe banana. That's a ripe banana. It opens real easy. You can open it with one hand. Look at that. It's just ready to rock and roll. If you're eating green bananas, you're eating starch. It's not going to digest that good. So the secret... The secret is... What's that? No, I don't live here. Yeah. Cool, man. And uh, the secret is... To eat bananas when they're really spotty. So you're getting maximum sugar, so you're getting maximum satiation, satisfaction. So you can eat 20 bananas and you're not getting a meal of starch, you're getting a meal of sugar. So you can fuel your muscles on the simple fuel that they need, fructose and glucose, that being. So yeah, it's, uh, for me, here we are, bamboo bike Harley, it's just another one of your little publicity stunts. It's like, yeah, man, whatever, <laughs> it's all good. It's just another more sustainable option for the planet and we can look at those ways every day to you know find ways we can be more sustainable like I've got my wallet made out of an old soy container I found on the side of the road and uh, yeah. when we're part when we're part of the solutions that are part of the problem we'll feel like we're, our life has more purpose you know you, you want to be part of the solution every moment and every day in every way and that's going to give you you know a sense of your life counts for something rather than just being caught up in the flurry of society and getting you know taken away in, in the current affairs of nonsense and meaningless distractions so if you want to create purpose in your life you know sit down and, and say how can I contribute more to the planet how can I contribute more to myself how can I contribute more to the animals and welfare for the animals you know, look at ways we can support our organic farmers things like that it's going to give you, you know, a sense that your your life does count, rather than I'm I'm worthless and I can't make a difference because I don't I'm the only one person. And, you know, I just I don't have any energy. I don't have much money, and I'm just that's that sort of attitude ain't going to get you nowhere, man. That's like that's the kindergarten toddler, you know, high fructose corn syrup cordial drinking attitude, man. It's it's time we dissolve that with massive raw abundance and extreme acts of physical endurance whether you're a runner, a skier, a cyclist, a climber, a martial artist, a walker, whatever you know whatever age you are, whatever ability you have go out there and make the most of it or just sit on the couch and eat cardboard the rest of your life and watch you know what's happening on television you know people say um you know what's happening it's like I'm happening man but you should be happening man you know it's like don't, don't, don't sit on the couch and turn the TV on to see what's happening. Make your life is what's happening now, in this moment, because this is all we've got. So, alright man, get out there and live your life like you, you know, like it's your last day, man. Alright, see you.